the R Group Decomposition tool enables you to analyze how compound properties vary by substituent within chemical series. Start by selecting an example member of the series. In this case, we'll pick Busperone and choose the R Group Decomposition tool from the toolbar or the tools menu. This displays the selected compound and you can draw around the region corresponding to the common scaffold within the series. You can select multiple separate regions of the compound by holding down the control or shift key. After selecting the scaffold, click next and the parts of the molecule that have not been selected will be considered as R groups and any parts that connect two regions of the scaffold will be considered as variable linkers. You can add more points of variation by clicking the R icon and selecting additional attachment points, while the X button enables you to specify variable atoms in the scaffold. If you click Next, you can give your analysis a name for convenience. Click Finish to perform the analysis, and when complete, a column is added to the dataset for each R group, linker, or variable atom. If you'd like a reminder of the template used to perform the analysis, just point at a fragment and a pop up will appear. And if you'd like to keep the template visible, you can create a separate window which can be docked within the star drop tabs. These R group analysis columns can be visualized just like any other data in star drop. Selecting a column corresponding to a point of variation will display a histogram showing the number of compounds with each substituent. Choosing another property on the y axis will show the average property value for compounds with each substituent in that position. Other chart types can be used to show more detailed information. SAR plots showing two points of variation can be created by choosing a category matrix plot or simply selecting two fragment columns in the dataset. These can be formatted in many other ways by clicking on the Format Chart button. For example, colouring by the average value of the potency. Many other chart types can also be embedded in an SAR plot. To learn how to create more information-rich SAR plots, watch the next video in the series.